Welcome everyone to Savage Wolverine issue 5. I'm your host of course Sean Jackson. Where we last left off, we saw the Hulk and Wolverine of course was going to square off against him. What else is he going to do? Anyway, let's dive right in and see where that happens. Yeah, of course they're uh, going to square off, but Amadeus Cho manages to calm both of them down and you know, all seems well until a fucking gorilla bites Hulk and then all shit breaks loose. Hulk fights a gorilla and then Wolverine does something incredibly fucking stupid by just stabbing the Hulk for no goddamn reason. Okay, whatever. And then the whole place comes crumbling down, yeah, of course. But then the great old one gets like resurrected or something. Like it, fucking Cthulhu or whatever the hell that thing is just comes up and like, you know, Wolverine's like, "What the fuck? Hulk is just Launches at it, gets bitch slapped, and eaten by a whale. Hilarious. <laughs> Even Amadeus Cho said that was pretty awesome. <laughs> but yeah, the great old one just leaves and goes uh, back to his master. And uh, apparently uh, their master is going to go to Earth. You know, because, you know, obviously they need to invade Earth. But uh, Wolverine, when he saw that, he said he was gonna, you know, leave that, leave all of that to Reed Richards. He was just gonna contact Reed and just say, "Hey, look, this shit's happening. Can you deal with it? That's cool. That's the end." It was okay, I guess. I mean, it was, it was whatever. I mean, it, it I mean, at least it was better than last, like you know, last issue, but. It's still okay. So I give it a 7 out of 10. You know, it was good, but, you know. Um, the artwork was really good. Amadeus Cho still remains to be the most rational and reasonable person. Logical. Um, but, yeah. 7 out of 10. If you're a Wolverine fan, I recommend getting this. But, I don't know. Anyway, have a great day, everybody.